Hi, we're Yannick. And Erlinde. And we'd love to give you a tour of our 9095 Lazy Days. All right. Let's go. We bought this uh, puppy uh, in March, just before COVID happened, uh, from the first owner who lives uh, right next to the factory in LA. So it was very well maintained. It's a Lazy Days 23 feet model, uh, mid kitchen rear bath. It's built on the Ford E350 chassis. It has about 74,000 miles on the odometer. It's a V8, very powerful engine, also uses a lot of gas. Um, and yeah, let's take a look. Okay, so uh, we did some work. The exterior kind of looks the same as it came out of uh, the factory, but still we made some upgrades. Uh, for instance, uh, we repainted the entry door steps, repainted the, the back, the rear view mirrors, they were all faded and yellowy white, not, not nice at all. We painted the hubcaps into matte black, sorry for, for the bird poop there. Um, we also painted the bumper that was like fading because of all uh, the years of UV light. It's a 1995 model, so, but the paint still looks really good uh, considering the age. We also repainted the grill into a black. This was uh, like also some faded gray, not nice. We added uh, a front hitch, which was uh, a little bit of a pain in the butt. We had to completely remove the bumper and then install uh, a, a custom uh, front hitch receiver and then make this uh, rack for it or put this rack onto it and made this chest really hard to find. Uh, a chest this big um, just on the on the regular market so we decided to make it ourselves and just buy the bag of Kurt. Let's continue walking around the vehicle. Uh, so here this entry door step was completely broken so it was hanging loose so we had to make a, uh, a, a custom part underneath it to rebuild it and to make it sturdy. Now we can, like multiple people can have a dance party on here. <laughs> tiny, tiny dance party. Tiny dance party. All right, we also painted the, uh, the awnings. So they are, they still have the original fabric. Come back a little bit. So it's, it's really cute, it matches the RV. But this was like gray metal, not cool. Here we have the battery compartment. We replaced the old batteries with two new batteries, lithium batteries. Two times 100 amp hour, so 200 amp hour total of uh, battery power. Not the biggest system, but definitely big enough uh, for all that we want to do. This here is the everything hoses and water related. This is gas. Um, Water, uh, no, electric inlet uh, for if you want to plug into shore power, water intake. Um, and here we have our two holding tanks underneath. This is the gray water, this is the black water tank. On the back, we added a uh, hitch receiver also, custom built. Um, so it has now two electric bikes on it on uh, the Thule. Uh, Pro model, XT Pro model, so it's very heavy, heavy duty because these bikes weigh a bit. We also have an outlet here uh, under the spare tire case, which we can uh, use, which we use to then charge the electric bikes. Very convenient. We also painted the uh, the step ladder black. In here, there was some rot uh, in the end caps. Lazy Days is one of the best RVs out there. Uh, but they have one common issue, and that's uh, a leaking end cap. So this, these two pieces combine the sides of the RV, and if they wear out, if the caulking underneath wears out, their water can seep in, and we had some seepage, and we also had some rotten wood in there. So we replaced the wood, replaced the end caps, and made it all sturdy again. Boom. Boom. Did it. Underneath the RV, the undercoating was ready to be replaced, so we removed it and uh, redid it. And there was some bare wood exposed and that's never a good thing on a moving vehicle in weather conditions. So now it's all nice again underneath. Here we have some uh, storage compartments for our chairs and uh, camping table, camping table, wood, leveling blocks, stuff like that. Tons of storage. Tons of storage in there. On the roof, we have two solar panels, combined 550 watts. 
And inside the RV, we installed a Victron 2000 watt inverter, which is even big enough to power up Erlinda's beast of a blender. We also installed a split charge relay so that the batteries can charge while the engine is running. That's about it? That's about it on the roof. Hi, welcome. I'll show you the inside. All right, so this is our bed area. It's actually pretty big. You wouldn't believe it, but it's almost a queen. Chemise loves climbing through the little roof there. <laughs> uh, she's definitely trying to escape all the time. Uh, we have one window on each side, which makes for a pretty beautiful sunrise every morning, whichever way uh, we face. Um, underneath is, of course, the cab area, uh, which we don't typically hang out unless when we're driving. Um, the living room is really spacious and very bright, which I really love personally. Uh, we have these awesome drop cloth blinds um, that we made. These are simple drop cloth, doesn't cost much at all. And we have this rolling system. And then uh, we have these uh, little, I don't know if you can see it all the way here, these little custom knobs to um, tie the rope around, which uh, makes it solid, doesn't slide off. So that's pretty cool. Um, the windows again on each side really open up completely, which makes it very, very bright and spacious. Um, we have storage on each side again. Everything's pretty symmetrical. Uh, uh, my clothing storage is right here. Um, I would say medium level of messy right here. And then we have more advanced messiness levels. Actually, it's not bad. Actually, yeah, it's pretty good uh, for his. Um, in this box right here um, are the two lithium batteries, which you've seen on the outside, and then also a 250 watt subwoofer. Makes for excellent sound quality. Um, Yannick really wanted that. Um, initially, there were actually two very bulky chairs right here and a little fold up table, but we ripped all of the ugly out and made it into a nice desk area where we can store our um, stuff, documents, laptops, and all that stuff. Um, and we can also use it for eating. Um, in addition to the 250 watt subwoofer in here, we also have four new speakers, each of them 40 watt, um, hidden underneath these um, closets. In addition, we have a charging station underneath, 12 volt and 120 volt right there. So these things right here serve as desk chairs, but also as laundry baskets, because underneath we can hide all our laundry, which is currently not much yet. So, so this couch is entirely full cognac leather. Uh, we reupholstered all of this. Actually, we had this done, which is one of the few things we had outsourced. Um, and then, of course, the um, driver's and passenger seat are also upholstered um, white uh, faux leather and then uh, say, the same cognac faux leather um, as well. Underneath me is the water tank. It holds almost 200 liters of water, which for the Americans is about 50 gallons. So I could insert a joke about the Americans still not using a metric system, but I won't say anything. Another fun thing to note is that this couch folds into an extra bed. So this is the kitchen area. Um, a lot of things happened here actually. It was a pretty non-functional kitchen and I'm um, a very avid home chef so we redid a lot of things. This is an extra side uh, table that we can use for chopping as an extra chopping block. Um, we also redid the entire sink initially. Um, the sink was kind of awkwardly placed in this corner, which I didn't really like. Um, so uh, we moved it over here. This is a composite granite sink. We have new faucets and this is a reverse osmosis. Um, I believe five step reverse osmosis um, drinking fountain. Um, of course, again, big windows, which slide open, which is convenient uh, when cooking. Um, the stovetop has three pits, which is plenty for me actually. So this can fold like this. Um, very functional. Um, the oven works perfectly, which is already awesome uh, in and of itself. So we didn't have to do or improve anything here. Uh, we have tons of storage, um, which is really cool. And especially some of the things that are most important to us, which are chocolate and spices and herbs, uh, for example, for teas, we have dedicated drawers for. So we have two entire drawers dedicated to chocolate, all sorts of vegan chocolate, all sorts of peanut butter cups, other different kinds of chocolate. So yeah, it's an obsession. Um, in addition, we have an entire drawer dedicated to little different kinds of spices and herbs. This is yerba mate, chamomile, hibiscus, name it, green honeybush. Uh, yeah, tea snob life. Um, fridge, freezer. The fridge is pretty good too, pretty good size. It might be pretty empty right now, but it should still, uh, yeah, be fairly clean. Uh, we have our freezer right here. And then tons of extra storage for cans and beans and artichokes and all that stuff. 
Over here we have a custom built jar station. So we used um, bungee cords to keep these jars in place, all these glass jars, which I use mostly to store the um, yeah non-perishables like oats and quinoa, all that kind of stuff. Um, here, this is our monitor to read basically how much water we have left, what the sewage and great tank situation is like. Currently, our levels are good. Boom. So I haven't mentioned the floor yet, but initially throughout this whole vehicle, there was super nasty carpet. It was really super ugly. So we redid it and um, put in this bamboo floor. It's water resistant, um, entirely cut to size. It was an awful lot of work, um, but I think the result is really pretty. So we're very stoked about that. All right, the roof situation. So we have a couple different skylights. Some of them um, have a vent system so they can actually suck out the hot air or cold air and, and have good flow. This one opens up completely um, so you can actually climb out onto the roof, which is something our cat Shimmy's really loves to do. Um, we also inserted these new light fixtures. Um, these are just on off. They're uh, LED lights, so they really are um, eco-friendly. This one here has a dimmer, so for all the romance at night. So we have these little uh, light switches. Um, we have many of them, probably more than we need because there's so many windows, so we have a lot of lights already. Toilet. Not really, but small space, so making it work. Um, in this uh, bathroom, we have a decent sized shower, which also functions uh, for the cat litter box while we're driving so that it doesn't shake too much. So we have it there just because it's the cleanest place to keep it. Um, we have these um, shower curtains, which we sprayed with um, water repellent spray, which works so far really good, so we're happy about that. Um, we have a little sink, uh, which is actually a repurposed salad bowl from Target. was just about $10. Drilled a hole in it, put the sink in. Um, faucet is new. Everything else is new here. Um, so this is our water station. Works really well for us. So over here we have the toilet. It's a domestic toilet with bidet. So very awesome. Um, and then we um, hung up some storage baskets over there for our towels, toilet paper, um, some cleaning uh, agent. Um, and then, of course, additional storage right here and right here. So, tons of space. So coming from San Diego, we cannot live without our little succulent garden. So we created, right before we left, we created this um, little um, demonstration of all sorts of different succulents that we found on the uh, ranch where we live. Um, all little stones, this is from the pepper tree, special rocks that Yannick collected. And we might actually switch them over if they die, because chances of them surviving um, with these sun blocking windows are actually fairly small. So if they die, we will just replace them with something local along the way. Uh, in addition to these real plants in the succulent garden, we also have some fake plants, which are right here. Um, they're, what are they called? Like nearly real or, or almost real? I don't know, I forgot the brand name, but um, they look pretty real. Uh, to me and it's it's much less hassle to keep them alive of course and then in addition we have these um, little cuts that we made also again from San Diego where we left um, they start growing roots actually in the water which is pretty cool and these are of course real so in a nutshell we removed all the ugly stuff we painted all the walls white all the cabinets white um, was a total makeover That's it. We hope you enjoyed our tour. See you on the road. Bye.